So, hello again. I thought a couple of times about the title for this week. Because first I had something like slow week, small jobs, new plans. But to be honest, I were a couple of small jobs, but mostly it was just get on with it again. So while I was editing the video and I heard myself talking because I do a lot of talking in this video, I figured it, it's, it's something else. It's like stress relief. It's like I'm mentally transferring to another world. You know, the first two months of this year, there were a couple of things that were really, really important. The first one was to get the floor in. The second was to connect the sewage system. And the third one to connect the electricity or at least lay the conduit. And sometimes it's really difficult to organize the right people. So in the end, I think that that's the main thing. You're, you're going into another phase. Now it's back to rebuilding. And I have a lot of plans and ideas in my head, which basically I, I didn't want to get into them too much because I first needed to organize the other things. So I think from here on, it is just about build, create, design, configure. It is the part probably that I like most. It's the finishing touch. So let's see what happened this week. I hope to see you again next week. And there's going to be some really nice things coming, I think. I'm looking forward to them myself, even though there are still a couple of, you know, not so nice jobs to do, but they become light. In comparison, you have these weeks where you do 20 things and you don't feel like you made a lot of progress. But based on the last two weeks, this time, it's like a giant, giant leap forward, really. The difference is that you get to a point where you feel like the framework, the bodywork is done. I cannot just see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's like um, you're reaching a point where you where you basically only have to start worrying and keep worrying about the um, finishing inside, you know, floors, painting, uh, bathrooms, kitchens, or the beds, etc.
temporary connection. It's going to rain. Want to see? It works. Right, so these are my plans for the outdoor kitchen a little bit. First I'm going to cover this wall, which is now cement bricks, with uh, the stone tiles. And then I want to have this wooden sunshade barrier. It's going to be large wood. I'm going to do it double from the outside and the inside. For the big terrace below here is the pool uh, the railing system i also figured out how i want to do that it's going to be very simple and then plan to have a big table so you have the kitchen outdoor kitchen you have this wooden sh uh, shade i don't know what but I was thinking that one of the beautiful things is that you can also use the inside to hang some kitchen things that you need. Then have a big table and I'd love the idea of, of being able to hang some curtains. Now this overspan is like 7 meters but back then to not make it flex too much, I ordered uh, those H type iron beams. So the first thing I need to do, if I want to be able to hang a curtain rod, I have to make something like a U shape, but I will order that. A U shape with something to bolt it and keep the rod you know, when there is a lot of wind, you don't want the rot to get out of there, so... This is the first thing that I need to order, and then I have to solder it on before I paint everything, because after it's painted, I cannot solder anything anymore. And then the cabinet doors, probably from wood too, but uh, I don't like to, to buy everything at once, I just prefer to go step by step, so first I'm going to calculate the amount of wood that I need for this part, order it, varnish it, then put it all together. The wood will be after the painting, this has to be soldered on before. Now I need to calculate how many bars, iron bars I'm gonna need to make my railing system. So each bar is six meters and I plan to have them cut for me at one meter so I don't have any waste or well probably have some waste because the height is different in different locations. Uh, I think that the maximum height, the minimum height is one meter, and the maximum height currently is 107. Uh, so I need a bar below, detached from the floor, and then in between I can put all the one meter bars. So I think that everything that is like facing outwards, I can put the one meter, but on the terrace above, yeah, the terrace is pending a little bit, so if I order one meter, I'll probably the sides, since they are pending, I probably have to cut them uh, myself. But if I start with one meter, it's easy, you know, you, maybe you have to, the, the, the first one is one meter and the last one will be 95. 
And that's okay, that's not too many to cut myself. Right, so, order the tiles. I ordered them already. Now the wood, the iron, and that will be the project for the upcoming weeks. already looks a little bit more friendly so I'm getting one more to put it a little bit in that area yeah yeah try to keep this kitchen a little bit clean but it's really not easy in an environment that's always dirty plus it's so old that you know, even the iron is, doesn't have any protection anymore, so whenever I cook, I tend to make a lot of soups and brodo. My pots are too small, I only use two at the moment, but you know, it served me well, it feeded me for three and a half years, and I'm quite sure in the next in the upcoming month, this problem will be resolved. And I can finally get rid of this old kitchen block. Still thinking that maybe I can reuse some of the furniture. There are four cabinets. Maybe I can use it in the kitchen below. And it's actually a blessing because I've been praying to the ancient gods for rain and now I heard that even our little river is flowing again yeah man I've been praying to the ancient gods like the North European Thor the Greek god Zeus the Roman god Jupiter the Thracian god Sabasios and even the Inca god Ilaran and the Aztec or Mayan god Tlaloc well, my prayers have been heard and I was thinking of a song. I don't remember the name of the song, but it's from Hot House Flowers. And, and my prayers have been heard. Actually, the rain is a good thing because it reveals a lot of minor issues which can all be resolved. For one, my rainwater retention system is not working perfectly. But that's a matter of uh, other different type of tubes that's been leaking. 
and in the garage there is little bit of moist and water coming in but also something that can be that can be resolved the electrical room the inside of the wall is wet because it hasn't been pointed and most of the thing, these things are related to pointing the walls so the puffer or the solar boiler is going to be here those are the tubes for the solar boiler all the electricity central heating on that side and i'm going to be built a counter wall on top of this all the way to the end because you can see it's a little bit wet in that corner and also up here so i thought it's a better idea to have a counter wall then i can fit in the electricity box right here have some power sockets on the outside so i don't have to touch the stone wall now i only have to see if and when my plumber has time to finish the to connect the water and the gas this is going to be so much fun really so from the same tiles same type 60 by 60 i bought the mosaic some suppliers offer that option that goes into the shower <laughs> oh and it's a joy because the drain is just too big so I have to cut all these pieces because I want it centralized, of course. Mm -hmm. Nothing is straight. Oh boy. So in the end I changed my mind again, but uh, it's easier like this because otherwise I would have had a corner there and like an open space of 1 meter 20 or 1 meter 50 for what? And like this you can have a nice clean area, boiler, electricity, two power sockets, all external and it will remain a lot better it looks a little bit like wet from upstairs so probably i have to give some resin or something to the terrace above so that has to go in there let's give it a try i'm a little bit nervous Hope everything goes right. I need to concentrate. 
so I shouldn't touch it anymore but this is way more difficult than I imagined oh there are so many pieces you know I could have known when I was cutting out all the pieces but when I leave it to dry for two days and then I will see what what it feels like when you stand inside so this is the wood that I ordered a large wood for outside for the kitchen area because I want to create some shade where you cook so the first thing I have to do is varnish them at least twice so everything is ready to to be constructed and that's the iron for the railing that's the 216 pieces the first ones and then these are all numbered because I made a calculation for each railing you see they are all a little bit different 142 there's one two and 170 153 152 all right so these are the numbers I had every piece cut to size for the railing system so maybe I can start organizing that a little bit it's dry today and maybe also tomorrow so we can start to put some of them right why not and I'm gonna do something very simple the top of the railing is already there this is gonna be the bottom when it's dry it's gonna be a nice job to start because I have some work to do now that piece of stone I can use it for the entrance in the laundry room uh, it started to rain again so taking a look inside I'm going to keep that electricity and make, make like um, a box there, distribution box, and from there I can put a new, some new conduits. This is our wall. Our new wall will be detached from the existing wall, so I can get rid of the moist, not too much work and we close that one up all the way up no. have some fun no. so i guess my little side project being the outdoor kitchen is going to take a lot more time unfortunately one side was planed the other side was too rough so i had to sand them first so the next little problem is that this wall is bending a little bit forward like that. So I thought to close it here, but that doesn't work. What does work is bricks that are like four centimeters thick and just make a small wall in front of this one and take out that. And in the end, it's even better because it will cover my tubes but the most important part is that I need 140 140 so 60 by 60 in the corner cooking 80 by 60 sink 80 by 60 so I have enough space because this window is a little bit too low so I have to stop here and then maybe afterwards and I can still bring back some kind of a tabletop up to here so you have like a work area and up here I'm going to put those old boards repair some old boards from uh, chestnut the ones that I still have leaves me with about 35 centimeters perfect because then I can put all kind of bottles and oil etc etc for when you're cooking so all in all, it's going to turn out just fine. The only problem is that the bricks are finished, so I gotta get myself a couple of new ones. 
And then when it's done, we leave it to dry and we do the new electricity installation. Two power sockets, three power sockets, light up there, light down here. Distribution box. Yeah, man. I'm a little bit, uh, I feel a little bit like light in my head. Now that may be because of the paint, almost drug, it's like a drug. You know, the varnish is like a drug. On the other hand, I also think that I have kind of a feeling of relief. Relief that those jobs, you know, that were lingering especially that courtyard work, you know, excavating, digging the trenches for the sewage system, for the electricity. I think that um, had a bigger impact than I can imagine, than I could have imagined, because that was something that I was really looking, I was really like, because that job it was like something so important and uh, I don't know what to say, you know. And now somebody's calling me. First coat given. The other four boards I can fit them below and I have to go on my knees, but I don't care. And then I can Give the second coat maybe in two days because it will take a little bit of time to dry. It's uh, very moist, it's humid, it's rainy. So, happy with the result. Pretty awesome, you know. So much rain, so much rain.